Dr. Svisa Maseko, the Secretary General of Umkonto Sisu Party, has resigned from his role effective on November 4, 2024, ending a tenure marked by high profile suspensions, reinstatements, and party infighting. Maseko, who previously served as the Chief Director of Infrastructure of the Gauteng Department of Health, has been embroiled in a controversy since January 2022 when he was placed on paid suspension. Amid allegations of misconduct, he resigned from his government post in August to fully commit to his role within the Umkonto Wesusu Party, citing a dedication to serve the party under the guidance of Umkonto Wesusu Party President Jacob Zuma. However, Maseko recently announced he would return to his prior employment outside of the party office. Though he did not specify the nature of this role, he attributed his decision to anticipated legislative changes affecting public servants, which he implied influenced his departure. Despite leaving the position, Masego affirmed his commitment to the Umkonto Wesusu Party, pledging to serve in any capacity, including his role in the National High Command. In a statement of gratitude, Masego acknowledged the collective leadership under President Jacob Zuma's guidance and expressed his sincere and heartfelt appreciation for Umkonto Wesusu Party's members. He explained that stepping down as a secretary General will allow the leadership to communicate effectively with members and identify his successor. This resignation follows a period of internal tumult. Maseko was initially appointed as a secretary general to replace Atazwane, only to be removed shortly thereafter, seemingly to reinstate Zwane. Shortly after, Zuma reinstated Maseko, dismissing Zwane once again in a reversal that underscored the party's internal strife. In a letter reaffirming Maseko's role as secretary general, Zuma apologized for the confusion surrounding his appointment, attributing it to what he called the deliberate efforts within the party to undermine his decisions. The letter stated, Please accept my sincere apologies for the confusion caused by some in the party to deliberate, mislead and undermine my decision to appoint you to this very crucial role in Umkonto Wesusu Party. The former ANC president further instructed Dr. Maseko to investigate the source of a media release that reportedly fueled confusion around his reinstatement, demanding accountability for the unauthorized statement. As Maseko steps down, the Umkonto Wesusu Party is left to find a new leader who can bring stability to the Secretary General's office. Zuma, alongside at the Umkonto Wesusu Party leadership, faces the task of addressing internal conflicts that have surfaced under his leadership as the party navigates its next steps in a highly scrutinized political climate. Meanwhile, congratulations are in order to Tutuzile Zuma Sambula. Honorable Tutuzile Zuma Sambula has been elected as the new chairperson of the Southern Caucus in Pan African Parliament. In a closely contested election, the daughter of the former president Jacob Zuma emerged as the new chairperson of the Southern Caucus of the Pan African Parliament. Zuma Sampula secured 17 votes, narrowly defeating her competitor, Honorable Dumisen Induli, who garnered 12 votes. Out of the Southern Caucus, 45 members, only 29 attended the meeting and cast their ballots. This leadership elected became necessary following the departure of the former chairperson, Honorable Pemi Castellina Pamela Majudina, who vacated her seat in the PEP after being appointed as South Africa's Minister of Water and Sanitation. Majudina's new ministerial responsibilities required her to relinquish a both her parliamentary position and her role as a chairperson. Jujuzi Lesambula Zuma, who represents the Umkonto Wesusu Party, was sworn into the Pan African Parliament during its September session. Her opponent, Mdumiseni Nduli, serves as the chief whip for the majority party in South Africa's National Assembly, the ANC. In her acceptance speech, Zuma Sambula expressed her gratitude to the caucus members for their support and urged unity and cooperation to enhance the influence of the Southern Caucus. Within the Pan-African Parliament, she emphasized her commitment to fostering a collaborative approach that will strengthen the caucus's standing as a significant voice on the continent. 
the Southern Caucus representing members of parliament from Botswana, Eswatini, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Lesotho, Zambia, and Zimbabwe plays an integral role in the Pan-African Parliament. Each of the five PEP regions is governed by a regional caucus established under Rule 83 of the PEP's Rules of Procedure. These caucuses are composed of members from their respective regions and are responsible for selecting nominees for PEP leadership positions, committee assignments, and parliamentary delegations. The role of a caucus chairperson, such as the one now held by Zoma Sambota, includes the responsibility of submitting nominees for various PEP positions and coordinating with the Bureau and other governing bodies to ensure regional representation in key parliamentary functions. Omar Gassela Mzobe, who is in the Unkondosizo Party Presidency, congratulated his colleague Duduzi Lesambula Zuma and took it to his Twitter account and wrote, As the chair of Umkondowesizo Party Subcommittee on International Relations, I would like to congratulate my sister, Commander Duduzi Lesuma Sambula, for being elected chair of the Pan African Parliament, Southern Caucus. She defeated the GNU candidate and ANC Chief Whip, Mr. Dumiseni Duli. Africa sees the Umkondowesizo Party as the legitimate leader and the voice of progress forces in SA. Our principle on pan-Africanism remain our firm commitment towards a united Africa. The MK national organizer Floyd Shibambo also took it to his Twitter account to congratulate Juju Zile and wrote congratulations and best wishes at Mkondo Wesuzo member of parliament commander at Tutuzile Sambula on being elected the chairperson of the Southern Africa Caucus of the Pan-African Parliament. We are confident that she will represent the Southern Africa region with excellence and guided by the principle of Pan-Africanism and progressive internationalism, one Africa, one voice. That's a take on this one, people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.